Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick little update here. I'm really excited to announce that Wheatley Al now has all of his internal electronics finished. Um, he's completely portable, I've got all the batteries and all the wires tucked in here. So I just wanted to give you a little view of what he looks like right now. And it's quite a lot, honestly. Um, here you can see some of the batteries down here for the sound system, the green battery pack for the motors and for the uh, um, Arduino. We've got two small speakers here. All of these boards across the top here are for the sound system. You can see some, a little bit of the servo motor in there. And I've got tons of external wiring that's just been kind of pushed back in here. So, I mean, it all fits together. It all works. He moves around. It doesn't interfere with anything. So, it's just going to look kind of ugly. This switch here on the side is for the sound system on off. And I've got a couple connections here because that switch is actually going to get secured to the side panel that comes across here. I'm really excited to tell you too, I did figure out finally how to attach his sides. I found this um, thin clear fasteners from Velcro. They're super, super thin and low profile, but they each strip holds up to five pounds. So I've got a strip on the top and a strip on the bottom. They all work together and they hold beautifully. I had to really like pull hard to get the shell off after I put it back on. So I'm really happy with those. Let's take a look at the other side here. This side's a little bit less congested. We've got a large speaker down here. Um, despite the differences between the two speakers and the sound system, the sound actually evens out quite nicely. So really happy about that. This is the on-off for the Arduino and the motor control and again with the plugs because this switch is going to be secured to the shell that goes over here. And you can see the Arduino up here with the Bluetooth dongle and the USB host shield and all the rest of the soundboard um, little boards and wirings there. So really excited. He is working very very well, coming along quite nicely. Um, I did also extend the leads out, I don't know if you can see right here, these two black pieces here are plug-ins for the handle servos, and they are here on the other side too, just hanging out at the bottom. Um, so yeah. Now, I've talked a little bit too much, a lot less than the last update, but I'm going to turn them on and show you. I did add a few new voice lines too, just, uh, just to enhance some of his dialogue, so let's turn Wheatley on and See what you can do. Connect the controller. There we go. And turn the sound system on. Make sure you keep a tight grip on me. I just now realized that I. Sometimes that happens. Uh, some of the circuitry in there, there's a short, just a very, very minor short somewhere. I'm not skilled enough to figure out where it is, though. So sometimes when I turn him on, um, he does trigger a voice line automatically. Other times, um, it was actually how I tell that the batteries on the sound system are getting low. He'll just sit there and play voice line after voice line after voice line. So, um, yeah, just a slight flaw, but it's weekly. We're all kind of used to stuff like that. So, let's take a look here. So, just to show off the motion again, even with everything stuffed in there, he still gets all of his motion in here. Tilt. Five minutes. Okay. And, well. And again, I'm still getting used to puppeteering him. He, he's awesome. I'm just rusty. That's that's my fault. So, but let me show off some of the new voice lines here. So what's going on here then? Oh, hacking something, are we? Cheeky. Uh, you come to the right guy. 
Don't want to brag. Master hacker. Computers. Hack those. Mainframes. Hacked as well. Um, regular frames. All your different kind of frames. Lucky grinding, me, because I am, as I said before, a master hacker. Uh, all in good fun, though. You know, it's all harmless fun. Yeah, so that's, that's his new hacking dialogue. Um, I really like it. It's some lines I found from the app sap lines from Team Fortress. So, they fit right along with his character. So. Look at this! No way to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The the um sorry that's uh, no I was gonna say smelly, just just tending to the humans. Sorry about that. That just that just slipped out. I'm a bit insensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer. And it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. So yeah, there's progress update. Everything's getting fit in right now. And my uh, wonderful artist neighbor is currently working on the uh, painting of the sides and the handles. So I will post another update when, probably in pictures, when they're done. Just so you guys can see. So... Thanks for watching. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not...